Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file, and if you look at it really close, the top is rounded, the holes in the center, and he, so he did this. I did this to show him how it could be done. And there's probably a hundred ways you could do this. Well, ten ways. the The difficulty in this, he's used, he told me what he did. He was using the common shape or basic shapes and he was using the teardrop. And, you know, it could possibly work, but it's, it's got its limitations. First of all, it doesn't have a round corner. And second of all, it's almost, was well, not 100% difficult to put a, a ball in the center of that evenly. Uh, you'd have to do it either by feel. Uh, if we did both of them, and put them both in the center of the page and then bring this down so at least it's centered from the walls and you know then it's like well, where do you measure from because this thing's got some funny things so you know just to show you before we start on the other one we're going to go here and you know it's i'm not 100 percent perpendicular but 286 versus 324 so you could set your nudge factor on something really little and you could move this up. Now the other one's going to go at an angle, but we could go, we could go to two thirty four, or you know, and we could get it there. And if this was at the right angle, it would probably still be two thirty four. But you still got a problem that is not, it's not this. This is a round part, almost like two pulleys, and it's a lot easier to put the center of the joint. In, in the center of this part. So we're gonna take an ellipse, doesn't really matter what size, we're gonna hit P. We're gonna go ahead and control D and make another ellipse, and we're gonna hit P. Now this is depending on what size he needs. Now we're in the center of the page. I don't have to move it down or anything, but what I'm gonna do is draw a two point line, and this is gonna help us stay in the center of the page, and then hit P. I'm actually going to elongate that up because I don't know what size this you know particular part is. It came in as this size. I drew it larger. And then I'm going to take a little ellipse. And if you were real anal on it and you had to, you could measure that. But now I'm going to hit P and then I'm going to shift select the line and hit T and that put our circle to the top. Now, I don't really need our line anymore, but I'm going to leave it. Eh, I can take my line away. Well, because I had those both grouped. Now, all we need to do is take a three-point curve line. And go from this quadrant up to this quadrant. And then kind of, kind of just play with it down here. And, and keep it off the red, basically. Keep those two parts separate. And then we're really not quite tall enough, so you can take your shape tool now and move this up a little bit so it kind of conforms. And then at this time, you could play around with, you know, everything from doing that. But then we're going to control D and make a duplicate of that line and then mirror it. And then if we hold down, if we grab it with the four-sided cross and start moving, hold down with the control button, it'll snap right to that. And now we're almost done. That looks pretty good. I'm going to take my virtual segment delete key and delete that and delete that. And I'm a little bit, I'm disappointed. The other line I made, and, and probably the real one, is straight. So let's back up here a little bit. I got a little bit too much. Too much curve to it. Let's back up a little bit. Let's look at where we can see it. Grab the shape tool. We want to stay, I think we want to stay outside that red line. And we still are. So that's, now, now we're kind of bowed in a little bit. So we're going to go right there to that arrow. That looks pretty good. Same thing. Control D. Mirror it. And then Grab it with the four side, it start moving, and then hold down the control button, and it'll snap to that edge. Then take your virtual segment delete key and delete that. And if you will fill it in, 
with a color. Now I'm a quite a bit taller than my original, but who says, you know, what shape this was when somebody gave it to him? I'm a little bit narrower too, so I, I should have made my, and you could make that, let's make that a hole bigger. You know, because I smart filled it, I left click, right click, and I got an outline. Uh, we actually have to go to object and break the curve apart. And then we can grab that. If we hold the shift key down, it will grow from the center. So it's still in the center. Take your smart fill tool and voila, you've got a, now granted I'm a lot taller than my original. Um, or, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit off thickness wise. But, you know, that could be, you could change that. Let's do that. Uh, let's left click, right click. Let's uh, go up to object, break, break the curve apart again. So we won't stretch our, you know what? We're going to have to put it in the center of the page to do what I want to do. I'm going to group it together for a second and then hit P. I'm going to go ahead and go ungroup because I don't want to change our uh, circle. But if you wanted it thicker, I hope this doesn't mess it up. Yeah, it's gonna mess it up a little bit. But you know, if you nudged it, we'll see what our nudge factor is. Get off of it. Uh, let's go point one. Grab your node. There's two ways you could do this. Grab the node and hit the left arrow key two, three, four times. Grab this one. Hit the right arrow key, one, two, three, four. Now we have a, a separate node there, so we're gonna have to go one, two, three, four. So now we've got a little bit of a fatter uh, idea or fatter problem, but our circle didn't change. And always use the Smart Field tool, and that kind of seals it. And then you can go left click, right click. The other way I mentioned that you could uh, do that, if you would, uh, Let's just do it. This video wasn't that long. Um, let's set the nudge factor on like five inches. Let's nudge this out of the way. Wow, three times. Now, this is in the center of the page. So I'm gonna take my two-sided line, two-point line, and hit P. And I'm actually gonna just delete one side. And then this way you can make that a little bit more of a, of a bow, you know, just moving that out, moving your handles, you know, get it maybe the shape you want. Um, control D to make a duplicate, hold down the control button when you move this. I didn't hold down the control button. Get the two sided, hold down the control button. I was holding down the shift. Now we're, now we got a little bit of a hump in the middle right there. But if we nudge this back one, two, three times, we've got a different shape. Now I do not like that hump right there because of what we did, but you can fix that. I would always take the smart fill tool, fill that in, move that over, left click, right click. And let's see what happens if we take this note out. The, uh, there we go. See the smart fill tool, well now it looks a little flat on the bottom. Um, you know, anything we do is going to make it look flat. So maybe we can nudge it down a couple. Wow. Remember I set my nudge factor heavy. Click off everything and your distance comes back. Let's go 0 0.05. Get on your, so this video is not going expected as I expected. I thought it, I did a good job on the other one. And now let's take it away and see what happens. That's pretty good. And it's just, you know, luck of the draw and what you're trying to do. Um, a lot of people are going to go, well, why didn't you just trace this one? And you quite possibly could. It's, I made it huge now. If it had to be perfectly like that, you could go to trace bit map outline trace clip art and make a perfect copy of that. Let's left click, right click. I didn't realize it was going to be that easy to trace. Uh, it's a little bit. The circle's not perfect, but there's a way to fix that. You know, let's let's break this thing apart, ungroup it, 
And let's look at this circle, see if my eyes are as good as I thought they were. See, it's not perfect. So we need a one point, let's say 1.06 circle or ellipse, control button. Well, what was the size? How can that be? Oh, well, I guess it is. Okay, so 1.06, there we go. And you should be able to snap to the center of that other one. So I'm gonna take my four-sided cross and it snapped to it. Now I can set my nudge factor on something higher, like two inches, nudge that out of the way and take that and delete it. You know, maybe that was the whole problem the whole time. It was, there were two of them. And then nudge that right back. And I was, what I would always do is take the smart fill tool and fill that in. That way it seals that circle. So, that's more of a, probably a better way to do it. Just trace it because it's pretty much dead on. It's dead on, matter of fact. But it's kind of a fun process if you had something that were, you couldn't trace. So let's fill that in with blue. Well, that you can't, you know, take away the outline. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.